Well, you can certainly feel the excitement tonight here at the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary on this game is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And coming up, action from the quarter-final stage of the Carabao Cup. It is Manchester United, and they take on Fulham. Well, thank you, Derek. With being big favourites, complacency can be a problem. You've got to use that to your advantage if you're playing a home side as expected to go through. Can they put the pressure on in the first 20 minutes and hold out and then try and nick the game in the second half? This is the team Manchester United will go with. It looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre-backs very solid look about this team. And this is the team Fulham have selected. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. Enjoy the game. And this confrontation is underway. Paul Scholes, now with Maldini, Roy Keane, now with Zambrosa, Paul Scholes, well you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner but this man might be a decent shout, Lee what are you expecting from him? Well, if I'm a teammate of this lad, I want to get the ball to him as often as I can because he's a safe pair of hands. Give him the ball, normally something happens. The link-up play between the different departments of the team is second to none. JJ Okocha, can he put it away? And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, here it is again. The through ball is perfectly timed. It causes havoc, and he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Paul Scholes. Maldini. It's with Scholes. Best. Given away by Manchester United. Bobby Reid. Best. to get tighter here Keane a oh, tremendous block United behind but a corner could come in handy and firing it into the area relatively straightforward to mop up defensively And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Crossing possibilities. Ronaldo. It did look on for them, but not to be. Lukman. Nice-looking pass. Akotcha. That's a nice-looking ball. 
insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. Cristiano Ronaldo. Paul Scholes. Here's Ronaldo. Timely tackle from Rijkaard. Fulham have not had too much of the ball, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Best. And he's broken free. Ronaldo! And it's in. A goal for Manchester United, who find themselves now level. Well, here it is again. He does so well to slip past his man, left him stranded. And how strong was he here? Incredible to hold off the defenders and get his shot away. Lovely goal. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. For Manchester United, number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Bobby Moore. Aina. And Reid with it. George Best. Rijkaard. Not an especially strong challenge. Just couldn't get it through. Lookman went in strongly to win the ball. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Keane. And Best has it. Encouraging stuff from United. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Hernandez couldn't keep it and that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams Into the second half then, and these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Aina. And Reed with it. Roberto Carlos. Don't forget we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Manchester United taking on Brighton. Well, that should be a really interesting matchup atmosphere. I'm sure we're going to get an absolute bell to Derek. Keane setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Giggs. Best. Tremendous block. George Best. Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. Well, that was the chance to take the lead, and the manager's frustration is there for all to see. Well, United certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession, but the rest needs work. It's too slow moving the ball. There's no imagination. Need a lot more from them. Moving the ball forward with purpose. They might be able to get in now. No problems for Van der Sar. Well, delighted to say more Premier League action coming up for you here on EA TV. 
It's Fulham facing Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah, game after game, the season is relentless, but players just love to play. Give them a game any day of the week. That should be a belter. Oh, great vision. He's in behind. Keeper did his job to begin with. And a time for calm on the ball. Well, we're all looking at the forwards to win games. I'm telling you now, goalkeepers win games too. What a save. Best. Now Keane. Good movement. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Can they forge ahead? And the textbook interception. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack. Here. Bobby Moore. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Throw in to Manchester United. Van Nistelrooy, Keane, it's with Scholes, Van Nistelrooy has it. Here's Juan Bissaka. Van Nistelrooy, can they grab the lead late on? Paul Scholes, excellent block. Our son, this is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game was over, but no, there's another chance. And there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Well, here's the replay, and the passing move is almost unstoppable. The movement is key for me. But then there's plenty to do from there. He's hit it so well. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. Great strike. A dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider this might have potential can they fashion something they need a goal not the best challenge free kick well, that attack going up a dead end and the keeper has the ball skulls Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Henrik Larsson. Oh, nice ball. Electing to cross into the centre. And he stopped them. Just There's the final whistle, and Manchester United progress. Yeah, only just Derek, wasn't it? But it was a good performance, really good game to watch as well. I really enjoyed that. Just edged it in all departments in the end. The coach would be really happy. Well, I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he's always a danger, isn't he? No more so when he grabbed that goal. He never disappoints me when I watch him. He's just too good and simple.
some questions regarding the match. Yeah, no further questions, thanks.
The unmistakable Cristiano Ronaldo. Three goals in his last three games. Will he be hard to stop again? Stay with us on EA TV. Well, it's been raining cats and dogs in the build-up to this game, and it's still coming down heavily here at Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me here on the commentary box for complete coverage is Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester United facing Brighton and Hove Albion. Yeah, thanks, Derek, as always. Pleasure to be here. I have to say, the atmosphere is fantastic in here. And I'm anticipating a really good game today. Hopefully, we won't be disappointed. Well, on the face of it, who would predict anything other than a victory for the hosts when you consider the respective home and away records, Lee? Yeah, they've been fantastic, haven't they? And when you look at the opponent's abysmal away record, you think it's only a matter of how many goals today. Well, we'll just have to see if there's any complacency, though. I think that's the only thing that could catch them out. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. And the team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. Now, there has been some discussion about their style of play. Some would argue it's on the negative side. What realistically should we expect, Lee? Yeah, they do tend to collapse when they don't have the ball. They sit off the opposition, almost inviting pressure onto them before trying to open up when they do have the ball. I don't think we'll see any changes today in that approach. Bobby Moore. Cristiano Ronaldo. Van Nistelrooy and Ronaldo prepared to fire well, no danger now Bastian Schweinsteiger given away by Manchester United and a change to the scoreline at Craven Cottage I'm hearing a goal there Alan McAnally can tell us more it's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur four minutes played 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Ronaldo! The angle didn't really favour him. Not too far away. Well, I guess it's worth a chance. He's in a tight angle there, but could he pull it back to a teammate? Andres Guardado. Trossard. Now Guardado with it. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. No, not the best challenge. No, high quality defending. Bobby Moore. Schweinsteiger. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, he likes to run at them. Ronaldo at the ready. It comes to nothing in the end. Andres Guardado. And a goal has gone in in the Liverpool match. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Everton. 19 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. March. Andres Guardado. Lovely ball over the top, and he could cash in. Looks promising, this. Guardado. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Ronaldo. Could take the lead. 
pressure has been mounting, and now they have the lead. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back, and still with lots to do, he unleashes a very powerful effort. Gave the keeper little chance. Lovely goal that was. The opening goal of the game then. Goal for Manchester United. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Crossard. Space on the flank. Andres Guardado. Now in possession, Crossard. I would be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And news of a goal at Anfield. Here's Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Everton. 38 minutes played. 2 1. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. And Doni. That's a good looking ball. March. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. And lining it up. A corner will ensue. Played into the centre of the box. And fisted away by Edwin van der Sar. March. And there it is, the half-time whistle is sounded. Well, we spoke about it at the start, Lee. United's fantastic record at home, living up to their billing. Well, you have to say they have deserved the lead, albeit a slender one. Energy levels look really good. Lots of options on the ball for the home side. That makes the chances easier to create. Nice football all round. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Adam Webster, Andres Guardado, someone has found the net at Anfield, who exactly? Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Liverpool, 48 minutes played, 2-2. Two -two. Thanks Alan. United struggling in terms of possession, but again, we've seen it before, we'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic, pace really hurts defences and they've got that in abundance. Spot on with that tackle. Room to roam here for Roy Keane. Schweinsteiger. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, we see it again, Derek. There's all ways of scoring a goal. Laces outside of the foot. On this occasion, he uses his instep. It's a really, really good finish. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. So 2 0 now. Goal for Manchester United. Number 92, Bastian Schweinsteiger. 
Let's join Alan McInerney because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Leeds United match. Alan. It's a second goal for Leeds United. 58 minutes played, 2-1. Cheers again, Alan. Well, delighted to say more Premier League action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Manchester United and good work to deny the chance. Corner given. And firing it into the area. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Juan Bisaka. Roy Keane. Van Nistelrooy has it. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Precision and style, superbly done. Well, here's the replay. It's a gorgeous ball over the top. And the finish, I can't tell you how hard that technique is. It's an absolute cracker. Well, his players have followed his every command and some. The coach must be delighted. On they go again, and United beginning to run away with this. Goal for Manchester United. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. March. Andres Guardado. Well, I believe there's been a goal in the Liverpool game, Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Liverpool. 70 minutes played, 3-3. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? It was a fine-looking attack, but now they've given the ball away. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Brighton and Hove Albion taking on Leeds United. Well, that should be a really interesting matchup atmosphere. I'm sure we're going to get an absolute bell to Derek. And it's teed up for Ronaldo. Oh, and it goes. Now he has his hat trick. A special moment for him. Well, Derek, he can relax now. He's got the hat trick. Fully deserved. Well done indeed. Well, let's have another view of that goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Goal for Manchester United. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, that is how to run at defenders. A bit sloppy in possession. Pogba. Now, let's see what they can do here. Roy Keane. Goodness gracious me! How about that for technique? You can't strike them much better than that!
Well, just look at this. Any kids out there watching, learn from this. Just look at the technique. Head over the ball. Textbook stuff. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room. If it stays like this, Derek, he's not happy. Just look at him. Oh, my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. A goal has been scored in the Fulham game. Alan McAnally can tell us a bit more. It's a second goal for Tottenham Hotspur. It's been scored by Harry Kane. He was played in behind the defence and steered it past the keeper. Four minutes remain. 2-1. Many thanks, Alan. Trossard. A chance to whip it in. Is it going to be? Well, they've solved the problem for now, but let's see. Well, it looked so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. And they're making a change. We have entered the final minutes of normal time. Keane, and the pass provided by Keane, excellent. Well, just a whisker wide of the post, not a bad effort at all. And there it is, the final whistle. A result to please Manchester United fans around the world. They get the three points, Lee. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressive up front. Their forwards really hit form today. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Room to Rome here for Roy Kidd. Goodness gracious me! How about that for technique? You can't strike them much better than that! Thanks very much.
A long way to go this season, but a colossal match between first and second today that could play a pivotal role in who is crowned champions. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome wherever you're watching. This is Goodison Park. Goodison My Park. name is Derek Ray and joining me in the commentary position United. is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Everton taking on Manchester United. Yeah, great to be here. How lucky are we, Derek? We get paid for this. Astonishing, really. Looking forward to a fabulous game. I'm sure the fans are too. Should be great. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him? Well, yeah, Brace in his last game, he'll certainly be a threat. Can he get another two goals or even three in this game? And here's how Everton line up. Michael Keane plays alongside Yeri Mina in central defence. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look about it with three forwards listed from the beginning. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Thank you, Goodison Park. A standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. Van Nistelrooy, excellent vision. Can he take advantage? Not out of the woods yet. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Perfectly positioned to take it away. A lot of forward thrust here from Ronaldo. Now, what can he do from this excellent position? No difficulties at all for Lev Yashin. Well, something has happened at the Emirates Stadium. A goal has been scored. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Arsenal. Six minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. And up for grabs off the keeper. Well, just narrowly wide of the post that time. Well, Manchester United impressed in the last game, winning against Brighton and Hove Albion. How do you think this game is going to play out, Lee? Yeah, that result, Derek, sees them sitting nicely on top of the table. Still a huge way to go before the end of the season, we know that. But you'd rather be up there. Three points today would reinforce that confidence. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. Free kick from distance, just off target. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I'm pretty sure the goalkeeper wasn't as well. It was close. Skulls. Van Nistelrooy has it. Crossing possibilities. And the flag raised. Offside it is.
And this all right. Good looking ball. Van Nistelrooy. Did look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Zinedine Zidane. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Terrific block. Well, what about that opportunity a few minutes ago? We can see it again now. Crossing into the middle. Well, the cross came over and a real need to get rid of the ball here. Gianluca Zambrotta. Roy Keane. Well, it could be on for him here. And able to get a body in the way. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. Played into the centre of the box. And he dealt with that ball played in rather well. I believe there's been a goal in the Wolves game. Let's hear about it from Alan. It's a goal for Chelsea. 34 minutes played. 1-0. Cheers again, Alan. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Will they profit from this situation? Lineker. And it's played into the centre. And the ball sailing over everyone in the centre. Manchester United throw in here. Keane. Now with Zambrotta. Van Nistelrooy. It might be the moment for Ronaldo. Well, there is the opening goal. The pressure finally telling. And they get their due reward. As we can see, right place at the right time. Striker's instinct is to be there or thereabouts. Keeper has no chance. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. So they're playing again. It's Manchester United with the lead here. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, that is how to play advantage. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. And Nistelrooy. Opportunity! He can't hold on to it. Well, they can keep possession now. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, a more than satisfactory performance from Ronaldo in the first half lead. Well, his manager will be delighted with him. He's been spot on in this game, hasn't he? Energy, imagination, desire, and a steely determination. And the ball moving again. Advantage United, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns here. Rio Ferdinand. Now with Zambrosa. News of a goal in the Brighton game. Alan McAnally with details. It's a second goal for Leeds United. 49 minutes played. 2-0. Thank you. Might be a chance here. Ball is loose. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Everton facing Spurs. Yeah, Derek, it should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. Zidane puts in the perfect tackle. Bernard. Well, can they exploit the space out wide? Lineker. And now Bernard. Real chance. Able to get his body in the way.
Substitution time it is. And he takes it on. Well, how close was that? Inches away. Here's a change for Manchester United. Roy Keane. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Matt. Oh, big chance! Very straightforward for Yashin. A creative look about this. That's not a bad ball. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Cristiano Ronaldo unable to keep the ball that time and that will be the keeper's ball well it's come down to the final 20 minutes here Larson here's Ronaldo Giggs onto Ronaldo Larson well, he didn't miss by very much at all. Well, news of a goal at the Amex Stadium. Let's hear about it from Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Leeds United. 76 minutes played, 3-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Ronaldo. Must be. Well, the post getting in the way there. Holgate. How can they find a late leveller? Rodriguez ready. Smuggled away. Well, just listen to the crowd. They want a bit more. They know there's still time to grab an equaliser. Surely they'll get another chance or two. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Larson. It's with Scholes. Henrik Larson. Best. A significant contribution by the goalkeeper to keep his team in it. Yeah, he kept on his toes as well as a really good stop. And he's fired over the corner. And maybe scope for United to add to their advantage with this set piece. And now the delivery. 
And there goes the final whistle. Manchester United are the winners today anyway. Lee, what did you think of their performance all told? Well, Derek, either side could have won that. That's how tight it was. That will feel like six points, not three. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively. He's always a man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him in that vital moment when he grabbed that goal. No further questions, thanks. 